Today, Precarious plays Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. We are about to be reunited with our most stalwart companion. Yeah, who's that? Gunship. Oh! Oh. Hello, He's Gunship. got a headache. You can tell. Yeah, but oh, we didn't scan the gunship. Okay. Ship has been damaged. Auto repair function initiated. You can return to your ship to recharge energy, energy, reload weapons, and save progress. But I can't save right now. Although I guess it would still give me ammo. But also, I'm not that low. So I'm actually gonna get in gunship. I just wanted to wave. Hi, gunship. Hey. <laughs> Is that what gunship sounds like now? Hey. You. All right. Well. Bye, Samus. Bye, gunship. Bye. <laughs> oh, I want to know how to get up there. Maybe I come back through that. Yeah. From here. Oh. That's looking increasingly likely. Uh, Every time I read or hear Luminoth, I'm like, that's misspelled. Because my brain knows Lunamoth so well. Can you picture a Luna Moth in your head? Yeah. That. No! Much less gross. Much more pretty. Uh, hold on. I think... I think that I've... See, here's the weird thing, right? I, at first, it looks like it's pointing you here. Like, to the top part. But I think that that... Is it? Because you just maybe you just take that. Uh, uh, you gotta come in from that direction somehow. I see a track. I see a track there. Yeah. So I think that I'm gonna try to find where that leads mm -hmm. before I go all the way back up to the temple that I, th I think I've already been up there. Okay, so it, it's through there, right? Mm-hmm. Is there and like a you should be able to go up? up and back. Ah, okay, so I've got to have the boost ball to get through up above me. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then there's the track up there, right? And it has some bits that are blocked. Oh, wait, no, I remember. I remember. I just remembered. There's okay. a half pipe. Oh, yeah. Walked right through it. Didn't even think about it. I'm just like, these walls are nice and curved. What yeah. A beautiful stylistic choice. Wow, these people must have, like, either very weirdly shaped crates to store things, or space is not a concern here. You know what I would like to do again? What? Roller skate. Uh, I wouldn't. I've seen, I've lost too many friends to roller skates. <laughs> Never again. Or roller blades, either one would be fine. Oh yeah, there is a distinction between the two, isn't there? I always forget that. I've always, I've, I think that I had a pair, I never had a pair of roller skates. But I had a pair of roller blades, but I used to really like going roller skating. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty familiar with both, and I think that I used to like my blades better. Mm -hmm. Your blade. Ooh. <sighs> you were one of the bad kids, weren't you? No, nothing around me was flat enough to really get into anything. But maybe I could have been under the right circumstances. In a different life. In a different life. Where I was more badass. They were white and teal and pink. Just so you know how cool I was. These were the colors of the era. Hold on, wait a second. Because they are, uh... They are throwing some numbers out here. Mm-hmm. Give me just a second. Because they said...
The third sentinel became the fifth. Okay, so the third one and the second one and the fourth one. Is this the first one? The first sentinel. I'm wondering if it's just as simple as like this is the order that I need to like solve the puzzle in. Mm-hmm. You know? Let's try it. Let's see if it's that easy. And then third one. Is this the second one? Oh, but the only reason I liked the roller blades better was that the boot on them held my ankle better. Mm-hmm. And that was just more stable. Like, I didn't have trouble falling over with either, but I did have trouble, like, holding my ankle steady. So, I really think that I just liked the boot. Did I solve it, or did I mess it up here right at the end? Hmm. It kind of sort of depends on if these... Yeah, okay. So those two were... What are you getting? Usefully interconnected. I think it's the, the spread missile. What are you actually called? Seeker launcher. Hmm. It's okay. I... I'll see if there's more combat utility than I gave it credit for. Mm-hmm. Mainly, I just don't think that it... In combat, I don't think it's very competitive with super missiles. Maybe this will give me a hint of some sort and how I could use it more effectively. Is it? It allows you to fire upon multiple targets simultaneously with the missile launcher. Press and hold down to charge. Using free luck, move the targeting reticule around the area. You will lock onto each enemy you pass over up to a maximum of five targets. You can also lock onto single targets multiple times with a seeker. So it's like, oh gosh, Zone of the Enders targeting. Is it? Is that how it works in Zone of the Enders? Yeah, right? I was thinking that it was just like the boomerang from Wind Waker. I mean, that too. Uh, and if I remember correctly, I think... Say, wave hello to uh, the end of the game. Hi! Yeah, I think that... Nice to see you. That's the end of the game, and then... Do we need the Seeker to get out of here? Yes. I gotta admit, I'm really relaxed right now. In comparison to the, our most recent recording sessions. Ah, see, sometimes it doesn't work, and that's... Annoying. Mm-hmm. Well, then let's see. first off, let's see if I can charge it without wasting a missile. Yeah. Three, four, five. No. Okay. So there I guess go. maybe it works a little better at close range. Yeah. Seems counterintuitive. Like, well, everyone knows this is missilery 101. You got to get as close to your target as possible before you before you fall before you fire your volley. Woof of homing missiles. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired, but I feel like there was a joke there about homing in on the correct words. I think that it was just a trick of language, how difficult it can be to use B's and V's and F's all in proximity to one another. You know, I used to think about diction a lot more than I do these days. But there are definitely some hard combinations that happen all the time. 
And I used to think about it because of um, choral music. Yeah. Like, you have to all have the same diction. It's not enough to get the words right. Like, you have to pronounce... Like, if you're, sing if you're singing with a group of people and somebody says A and somebody says Ah, that's a fucking problem. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> like, I'm imagining that... The the funny the funny cartoon version of a band winding down very ab abruptly and like, out of sync with one stop, another. Stop! Stop! <laughs> nope. Hank, you know. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, who did that? Who? Which one of you yokels made that noise? <laughs> you never sang in an organized fashion, did you? I did. Uh, no, I I used to really like uh, choir and. Elementary and middle school, mm. and then my parents embarrassed me about my singing voice, so I stopped. Did you ever have <laughs> I to never like, recovered? Did you ever have to run like one syllable over and over again with a group because you couldn't get it right? <sighs> no, I mean that was elementary. It was just, it was like the mandatory elementary elementary school singing class experience. So Where if you're. <laughs> I remember a teacher we had was like, if we begin together and we end together, we're gonna consider that a success. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will just improve the middle bits until they're as good as they can be, okay, people? But let's try. Begin together, end together. So watch me, for God's sakes, watch me. 